The spline command in DraftSight is used to create a smooth curve, which passes through a set of predefined points. Splines create curves called non-uniform rational B-splines, referred to as splines for simplicity. In DraftSight 2022, we have enhanced the spline command by adding a few new options. Let's take a look. We can start by creating a spline. I've just added a few reference circles here, through which my spline shall pass. Until now, all the splines that were created in DraftSight were created using the fit method. In the existing fit method of creating a spline, the points used to create a spline are the same points that allow users to control the spline as well. This limits the way in which the users can shape their spline. In DraftSight 2022, we are introducing the control vertices method of creating a spline. Let us try to create a spline using the CV method. Now with this method, we can clearly see that the control vertices of this spline pass through the reference circles and not the spline itself. By default, fit points coincide with the spline while control vertices define a control frame. The control frame provides a convenient method to shape the spline. Adjusting the shape of the spline by moving control vertices provides better results than moving fit points. We also have something similar under the fit method. We have a new option called knots. Knots is one of the several computational methods that determines how competent curves between specific points are blended. Under knots, we have three options, chords, square root, and uniform methods of creating a spline. In this example, you can see the result of creating the spline with these three different methods. We also now have the capability to switch between the methods. Users can choose between the fit or control vertices, even after the spline has been created. New properties are added for a spline in the properties pane to include the method, degrees, to know if the spline is closed or not, and more. Clicking on the control vertices or fit points opens up the contextual menu, allowing users to stretch, add, or delete the vertex. All these enhancements combined provide users a convenient method to shape the spline, making their experience much better. We have added a new command, spline edit, in DraftSite 2022. This command provides users with multiple options to edit a spline. Users can even go ahead and choose to convert the spline into a polyline. Split command in DraftSite now has a new option to allow multi-selection. After specifying the splitting entities and the entities to be split, when we hover our mouse over the entities, DraftSite now provides a clear indication of where these entities will be split. After clicking OK, you can see that in one single command, DraftSite has split these entities into multiple entities.